Hello guys, my name is George and welcome to another Java tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to uh, implement a linked list and how do they work. So uh, basically for this demonstration, this is going to be a very simple uh, uh, list, uh, linked list uh, implementation and also a very simple de demonstration. Um, basically what we are doing here is that we are creating a list uh, where we are um, actually uh, Checking out uh, which is going to be the size, we're going to add uh, three um, elements over here. These are three strings, and we're going to check out the size of the list again. Now, what is the purpose of using uh, linked lists? Uh, basically, they are dynamic uh, data structures. So, what does that mean? Uh, actually, uh, in programming languages such as uh, Java or C, uh, where um, commonly using uh, some simple data structures uh, such as arrays. So the problem with arrays in this language is that uh, you have a size limit and you cannot increase or decrease the size of the array. So if you have an array that can only store three elements, you cannot add more data and uh, you cannot make this array grow. You need to create another array that is bigger and uh, basically that is gonna be that is gonna cost us uh, some performance so um, the linked list uh, what it does is that uh, it is a data structure um, which is dynamic so its size can um, grow or decrease and you can even slice it and um, basically this allows you uh, to save performance and you can access uh, data and manipulate data more easily by using uh, a linked list. So this is how, how it works. So here I have a program. I'm going to uh, execute this uh, linked list dot main um, method over here, and I will see the size uh, first uh, becoming zero, and after that uh, we're going to increase it to three. And this is because you, we are adding these elements. Now, how does the implementation goes uh, for this list? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open another file, which is a uh, linked list .java. And uh, this is a class which uh, act actually has an inner class called uh, a node class. And it has uh, an attribute uh, which is going to be a head node. Now the head is going to be always the first element in our list. Now if we have this uh, list over here, this list has uh, five uh, elements the head is gonna be one because it is the first element in the list uh, so it will be like accessing the index um, inside this list now um, what do we need to create a linked list implementation we need some methods uh, we can uh, use the is empty method so we can check uh, whether if the list is empty or not and all you need to do is you need to check the first element if we have a first element in the list if we have um, a element uh, that actually contains uh, a node, then we can say it is not empty. If this element is null, then you don't have like uh, a starting point in your list. And we might say that the list is empty. Now, another method uh, which is uh, very common is the add method. Uh, it is used to add elements in the list. We also have a an, an method to, uh, to find out which uh, the size of the list uh, is going to be. And we can also set other methods, for example, public object get uh, element at, and here we will put an index. Uh, we will do that in a second, so I'm going to put a, a return null over here right now. And we have the private class node. Now the node class is like a wrapper for um, the elements that you are going to have in your list. and but you, you will not only have like the, the value of the node, but you will have like a pointer. And this pointer is going to be called next. And as you can see over here, the next pointer is actually another node object. And uh, the reason of this is because every node in a list points to a next element. So if we have, let's say, one, two, three, we will say that the next element um, after one is going to be two so one is pointing to the number two and number two is pointing to number three and okay so they are like pointers they are you will see this for example i like to uh, see this as arrows pointing to the next element so we have one then we have two and then we have three 
and uh, this is basically what the next uh, node is and you will have this inside your node class now the node class is really simple you will have methods like a constructor and uh, in this implementation i wanted to uh, in the same constructor to pass the element that i'm going to uh, keep inside this node and assign it so the value is going to become the element and we also have a get value uh, method over here and we also have okay one thing is that this um, next uh, shouldn't be public so i'm going to make it private okay and uh, over here we have a uh, get value set next set next so we can uh, set like a next element uh, from this node and get uh, which is the next element inside this node okay so these are the basic methods of the node class they are really simple really easy uh, we're, not, we're not going to do uh, any more of those and um, what will happen now if I want if I wanted to get uh, some element inside the list now every time you make a move uh, in the linked list you need to move across nodes now for example we have our head and our head is gonna be somehow uh, a node so head is a node and we want to access like an index and um, we're going to create a for loop over here so I'm going to start uh, an element uh, i equals zero and i is going to be less than um, than index and uh, less or equal actually and we're going to be increasing the size of i and every time this happens I'm going to create a reference which is a node this is going to be a reference uh, which is going to start at the head and what we want to do is that every time I iterate over here I will say okay the reference is going to change and it's going to be the next element from the current reference so I'm going to put over here get next so I'm going to get the next element in the list and I'm going to be iterating uh, or passing through the list until I get an, uh, a value so at the end I'm going to return a reference dot get value now this might return a null for example if you want to access uh, index uh, 5 and you only have 3 elements uh, this won't work but you can use it to uh, get um, a value so now I'm gonna go to main.java and we have 3 elements and let's say I wanna print out which is the value of um, print line value at index 1 which is gonna be the second element it's gonna be world and we're gonna put put here by so we can uh, tell the difference I'm gonna get okay list dot get index at or sorry get value at one no, I'm just gonna check that the uh, method is right get element okay so the method was uh, was wrong I'm going to correct it and here you go I'm gonna save this, I'm going to run my program, so I'm gonna enter linked lists. Okay, I'm going to compile my files, my Java files, just like that. Okay, I have an error right now. Cannot find the symbol get element at with two T's, so that is wrong. I'm going to correct it and I will compile again. It's alright, and now I'm going to run my program with Java. Main. So I'm running the program. I have over here value at index one is by. Okay, so I have uh, made a mistake over here. I'm going to correct it right now. Um, in my get index at uh, method. Okay, so no, this is less than index. So I'm going to save this again. I'm going to compile my program once again, and I'm going to run it again. And over here, world. Now my method is right. I get uh, my value at the index one, which is world, which is uh, actually what we see here in our main um, uh, method. We have adding hello, this will be index zero. Then we have one and our second index, index number two. We have all of those right now. 
So this is basically how, how a uh, linked list uh, work. Now let's uh, uh, take a look at the other methods in our list. So we have a size. How do we get the size? Uh, you create an integer uh, called size. You start it at zero, and uh, you're going to uh, be searching to next element every time you get a next element. This is what uh, this code does. Uh, you will increase the size. Okay. Do we have an an element uh, in the head? Okay, that's fine. So we're going to increase the size by one. Now we have one element. Now do we have a next element uh, starting from the head okay we have so we're going to increase uh, uh, another um, um, value to the size so uh, we're going to, to be doing that until we get the, the full size of the of the list and to add elements uh, it's basically the same you can check whether if the list uh, is empty or not if uh, it is empty you will just uh, create a new node for the head and if it is not you will uh, search uh, for the next uh, node which is actually null so that is what we're checking that is it. the reason of why we're checking this uh, we're checking okay if the next element uh, is different uh, from null we're going to be going to the next of the next of, of the next element until we find a next element uh, that is uh, null so here we have current uh, node set next new node with the actual value okay so and uh, and it's empty which is actually really simple you just need to check out if the head is null and that will be uh, basically it so this is a, I will say this is everything for now guys I hope you like this tutorial this is really simple uh, implementation um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, leave this uh, for you guys so if you wanna copy this code I'm just gonna resize over here so you guys can copy this so this is the private class node and here are the methods of uh, the linked list we have a constructor uh, is empty add method and uh, size and get element at so i hope you guys uh like this tutorial if you did uh, don't forget to click on the like button below you can also leave a comment and uh, i'll see you guys next time see you later bye bye